lived in Millersburg for um, all my life practically, and that's in Upper Dolphin County above Harrisburg. <clears throat> and I'm very happy here because I have a nice facility and I of course have my painting station and I belong to the Art Association here and also to the one in Millersburg. If I average one painting a week for 20 weeks, or 20 years rather, that's like a thousand paintings. So I, I paint a lot. I enjoy painting and you can see that uh, if you've seen the paintings downstairs, I painted about 60 paintings during the pandemic. I painted a lot in that time. I took some lessons in Harrisburg from Nick Ruggieri for about two years, like once a week or something like that. But other than that, my experience has mostly been from from art books and tr and practice, because every time you paint, you learn something. Even when I was in grade school, I got commented on my kind of work, and through high school, I got a couple of different projects to do. But even though we didn't have an art course, so you know, I've kind of been painting with one way or another all my life, really. So, but for the about 20 years after I got out of the service, I didn't paint much, except my in my business. I like landscapes and, and seaport pictures, things like that. But I also paint uh, birds and animals and flowers and everything. I don't do much with people. I've never very successful at painting portraits or anything like that. I've never had any training on it for one thing, but uh, uh, I, that's one thing that I've avoided. But most everything else is kind of a challenge. I like to paint buildings and trees separately and things like that. It's just what I feel comfortable with and something that I kind of understand. Actually, over the years, I've sold enough paintings that it pays for my expenses and a little extra and painted mostly to please myself rather than for sale purposes. And if, it, if somebody liked it, fine, that's for the end, well, you know, I still had my fun. <laughs> I, I feel that some of this stuff will go on after I'm passed away and people will pass it to their children and so forth. So uh, that's my main objective in doing it. And it's something I get pleasure in doing, of course. Well, the only thing I would do, I think at this point, is encourage people who has a talent to keep on doing it because the time will come in their life and they'll be happy to have that. You know, if, if someone raising a family, for example, and the kids move out, it leaves a big gap there. And if, if they have a talent, I think it's nice to uh, to use it. My nerves are still good, and my eyes are still good, so I don't plan on quitting. Maybe I'll be like Grandpa Moses. <laughs>